Welcome back, car nuts. You're looking at the starting line for chapter five of the Tejas Turismo. Now, I've been sitting on this footage for about seven months, mainly because I just wasn't sure I could really do this amazing event justice. But since they're opening up the registration for chapter six here in just a couple days on June 28th, I decided I better put something out to help highlight the event. Now, if you've never heard of the Tejas Turismo, it's a three day vintage driving tour that takes place in the beautiful Texas Hill Country. It's limited to 100 vehicles and it sells out quick. Last year is sold out in just a little over 20 minutes. So if you think you're interested, click on the link for it down in the description below and sign up for the updates. You definitely want to be quick on that registration once it opens. And you know what really makes this event special is, yeah, sure, there's lots of cars here that most people would just assume would be fine sitting in a museum somewhere. But no, everyone here really loves to drive. And it's that passion for not only the cars, but driving them too, is really what sets this event apart from most others. You can't be squeamish about flinging your priceless rolling sculpture around the Texas Hill Country. Another great thing about this event is the excellent sponsors and vendors that sign on. You get a primo swag bag with this registration. And of course your usual things like a decent water bottle and t-shirt, sweet driving gloves. But I really love the jacket from Pacto. And they make a new design every year. So I had signed up for the event in my blue Bertone, but in typical fashion, it crapped out on me just the day before the event. And at the time, the only other vintage car I had running was the Abarth Wrecker. So I figured, why the heck not? Just take it. I mean, after all, it was designed to drive around in the mountains of Italy, <laughs> rescuing cars that had slid off the mountain. So it should do just fine in the Texas Hill Country. And having to take the record was actually a really sweet little accident because I actually got to meet the guy who imported it to the U.S. That was a great little bonus hearing that story. I signed up with the X19 again and I really hope it makes it this time. I really do love the car and I love showing it off and it's a blast to drive in the twisties. But if for some reason it doesn't work out, I'm also working on a couple other projects that would be great for the event. I'm going to keep those under wraps for now so you'll just have to stay tuned to the channel to see how those turn out. The footage you've been watching so far has just been at the start of the event, but it's really all about the driving. It's really something to see all these beautiful vintage rides getting flogged out in the twisties. If you're curious about how the driving portion of the event went, I posted a video a while back of me driving the wrecker through the Twisted Sisters. I'll leave a link for that down in the description below and probably also in the end screen cards as well. It was pretty hilarious hoofing that thing through the turns, so be sure to check that out. I still have a ton of video from this event and I'm expecting to have a ton of video from the new one too, so <laughs> I don't know, I'm going to have to find the time to fully show everything, but for now I just want to get something out quick and let everyone know about this amazing event. Hope to see you all out there.